Hello everyone, I welcome you to this presentation on Anti-Lock Operating System. So in this video, I am going to explain how an Anti-Lock Operating System works, what are the objectives of Anti-Lock Operating System, what are the components involved in, and what is the technology that goes into the Anti-Lock Operating System. Anti-Lock Operating System, which is most often referred as ABS. So, when you are driving at a high speed, Okay, let me put it this way. How many of you have experienced an ABS action in your life? So when I ask this question to my students, the most of the students say they are not experienced. But let me tell you, almost everyone would have experienced ABS action in your lifetime. Those who have at least ride bicycle. Okay, if you are driving at high speed, if you are going at high speed on a bicycle, Normally, you won't brake suddenly if there is a wet surface, friction at all. What you normally do is you just brake, you apply the brake and release the brake. You apply the brake and release the brake. That is what is ABS. That is what an anti-lock braking system does. Okay, so this is what is done by your brain. Realizing that you might slip. Okay. But this is more precisely done by the anti-lock braking system. Okay, this is the ECU. The anti-lock braking system is the electronic control unit which does that applying the brake and releasing the brake more precisely. So Germans thought of it and came with the, an ABS ECU. So whatever your brain is doing, the same function is done by the anti-lock braking system ECU. ECU is electronic control unit. Okay, so what are the main objectives of ABS? So the main objective of ABS is reduce the stopping distance, help the driver to steer and reduce the skidding. Okay, so the ABS can reduce the stopping distance as much as 30% reduction in the stopping distance. Okay, so it allows the driver to steer. If you are driving at high speed and if there is no ABS system in your vehicle no matter how much you steer because of the momentum okay so you will not be able to steer the vehicle no matter how much you try to steer vehicle will not steer so basically abs reduces the skidding of the vehicle so what are the components of abs system so the major components of ABS system is wheel speed sensor, inlet outlet valves, pump motor and this is the brain behind ABS that is ABS ECU electronic control unit. The primary objective of ABS system is to reduce the skidding. Okay. So my next question is how skidding can be sensed? How to sense it? Is there any sensor to sense skidding? Definitely there is no sensor to sense the skidding, but there is sensor to sense the sudden deacceleration. Okay, so what happens when you are driving at high speed and suddenly brake? If you suddenly brake, wheel gets locked. Okay, vehicle is moving, but wheel is not rolling. So vehicle will skid. Okay, vehicle is moving, wheels are not rolling. So you are going at a high speed, suddenly there is a deacceleration in the wheel speed. Wheel is not rolling. So this is sensed by the wheel speed sensor. So that is given as input to the ABS ECU. So if there is a sudden deacceleration, then ABS system will come to know that there is a skidding. That's how the skidding is sensed in the ABS. Okay. Now how to reduce the skidding and help the drivers to steer? Okay. With the help of inlet and outlet valve, okay, the whatever brake driver has applied is released. So I am going to explain that in the upcoming slide. Okay, how does this ABS system work? What is the technology behind ABS? The technology behind ABS is this: the brake circuit. Okay, so this is the brake circuit configuration of ABS system. So to ABS, if ABS has to work, this eight Walls are must and should be there. So these 
walls are called as these four walls one two three four are called as inlet walls and these four walls are called as outlet walls one two three and four for every wheel there are two walls inlet and outlet you can see here so this is the inlet wall this is the outlet wall this is the inlet wall this is the outlet wall inlet wall and outlet wall okay so this is your master cylinder so as soon as you apply a brake so your brake pressure is amplified over here and then the brake fluid is passed through this pipe and, uh, and that force is applied across the brake pads so, so then your vehicle will slow down so this is the normal action so here this inlet wall is normally open wall so all these inlet walls are normally open walls so when there is a no panic situation okay so the abs will come in action when there is a panic situation when there is a sudden braking so when there is a normal braking okay the, all these inlet, inlet walls are by default open okay and this is normally closed wall these outlet walls are normally closed so this path is closed so whenever you apply a brake so brake fluid go goes it through this inlet wall and applies the brake for all the four wheels this same thing okay now assume that there's a panic braking drivers applied the brake suddenly so what abs ecu does is it senses that situation through the wheel speed sensor because there is a sudden deacceleration wheel is not rolling vehicle is moving okay there is a sudden deacceleration it is going at 90 kph suddenly it is zero it's not possible so that time it will close this inlet wall okay and opens the outlet wall so when it closes this wall there is no further pressure from the driver okay so when it opens this wall so the pressure on this wheel is released okay the brake pressure is released so that fluid will flow through this wall and gets collected in the accumulator so the same goes with all the four wheels so all this uh, fluid is collected in the accumulator and another component which I told you that is a pump motor will pump this fluid back into the cylinder okay so this this not only just opens the wall if it opens only uh, opens the wall then vehicle will not stop so again it will apply the it will close this outlet wall so open close open close open close so that's how it will reduce this the stopping distance that's how it allows the driver to stay up. So as it once it releases this a vehicle will start moving again. The wheels will start rolling. Again it will apply the brake. Release the brake. Open this wall. Close this wall. That's how the ABS action works. So this is the technology behind the ABS. I hope you have understood how ABS system works. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video I want to come up with the TCS traction control system. Okay, thank you so much for watching the video.